She can't put things back in balance because the people who take care of these sacred sites, who take care of the earth, have been taken from their lands. They've been killed. They've been assimilated. They haven't been allowed to practice their ceremonies. And it must, it must change. And I know this with my being. And so I've put my life in service to be here. And I want to say thank you so much. Every single person who heard that call and their spirit, that deep spirit inside of them, the one that knows, heard the call to be here tonight, to make the drive from New York, from California, from New Mexico, from BC, from Oregon, from Colorado, from New Mexico. People flew over from Germany. People flew from Australia. People flew from England. People flew from all over the world to be here in the heart of everything that is and say we must change this world together. making these kinds of commitments to the land and honoring in the way that my Lakota relatives honor that we make a commitment for four years. And I said, well, then a lot of people are going to have to step up and uh, not until the elders approve and say, yes, we are with you because we stand behind the people who come before us and we ask that they lead us and so we can support them so that we can remember our past and our ancestors. But in this first year, for those who don't know, um, you start in the West here, and the West is, um, color is black, and um, it's the place of the thunder beings. Hoorah! And the place of the water place of that deep feminine too. And so I'm going to sing a song for the water. Because my, my elders taught me when we come out of our mother, that water comes first. And our whole life, we follow the prayer inside of that water. And we've forgotten. We are poisoning our water with uranium. They are killing. There are parts in the northern plains that have higher uranium counts than the evacuated parts of Fukushima. We have poisoned our water with fracking. We have poisoned our earth. And we need to call on the highest beings, the ones there and the ones here, and the mother water herself, to help us now. We need to change course. We have a choice. And so I ask each one of you to stand behind the water of life and not the arrows of destruction. Stand behind the water of life and make that choice tonight. And if we can all do that and stand behind that vision, then nothing is impossible. And we can get these Black Hills back so that the people, the Buffalo Nation, can do their ceremonies again, activate the beings here, and ask for the help that we need. Because we need right now on the earth, we need a divine intervention. And everyone's looking at it, the scientists are looking at it, and they say it's impossible. But we know it's not impossible. So tonight, we are working on the divine intervention. And thank you for your prayers. And this is a song that comes from South America. Prayers are coming from all over the world. This is to the queen of the water. This is to um, Yemanja, who is the part of the ocean 
the salt water that the sunlight penetrates. And she has pearls in her hand and a crescent moon above her head. And the song says, Yemanja, Yemanja, the queen of the waves, the mermaid of the sea. Whoever hears the song of Yemanja, the one that makes the fishermen cry. Whoever hears the song of the mother of water crying will go with her to the depths of the sea. Oh, my God. 